What's going on guys? It's your boy Dilly Dilly Time here, aka Dilly as most people call me. And in today's video, I've got another very rare build for you guys. It's something I haven't seen anybody play on in NBA 2K21 again this year, like I in my previous video with the two-way tempo pusher. I haven't seen anybody with that build, and I haven't seen anybody with this build right here. So if you guys are very interested in this build, you want to make it, or you're just interested to see what kind of names are out there is, this is the video. Just hit make sure you hit that like button for me. We're so close to 200 subscribers. I put a lot of hard work into this, so let's just make sure that we can uh, show some appreciation I really would appreciate it so let's dive right in guys the position is small forward left hand as you guys already know and you already know what jersey number we're going if you rock with me on this channel you already know what jersey number we rocking with and the reason why moving on to the pie chart we're actually gonna go ahead and choose the yellow and red pie chart the, the attributes I like to go with the vertical and speed uh, but you guys can do whatever you want but for this in particular build I choose the speed and vertical now, when it comes to the attributes, they're a little all over the place, um, evenly spread out, driving layups maxed out, dunks maxed out, and standing dunks maxed out, giving us a total of five finishing badges. I feel like this is good enough, especially with gold badges. Shooting-wise, we're just going to max out the first three, giving us a total of six, and then we're just going to move up one on the post-fade, giving us seven shooting badges right here. As far as the uh, playmaking, we're just going to go ahead and max out the first two. Uh, excuse me, not max out. We're going to go ahead and drop this down until there's 16 playmaking badges, just like that. So 78 pass accuracy and a 77 ball handle. So we're going to have 16 playmaking. And then as far as the rest of this goes, we're going to go ahead and max out everything. We are going to skip block. We're going to go ahead and max out steel, lateral, perimeter, and then go ahead and put the, the rest on interior. If you don't want to put it on interior, you don't have to. If you feel like you can do better with blocking, go ahead and put it on blocking. But I just feel like for this build, I want to have some interior because this build is going to be playing the three or the center build if you're going to be using this build. If you're like, you know what, I don't care about interior defense, it doesn't do anything anyways, and I want to put it on block, you can. Um, it doesn't really matter, um, but I do it on interior defense. Then we're going to go ahead and pick build. We're going to keep this kind of close to 6-7 we're gonna go to 6-6 six, 6-7 six. Six, is great it just doesn't give you the name 6-8 is too high but 6-6 six, six is what gives you the name the build name which is really really cool so we're gonna go at 6-6 six, six is the height the weight we're gonna drop down to 200 flat um, giving us 88 speed 86 acceleration and 87 vertical so at 99 with gym rat badge you're going to have a 96 speed, a 94 acceleration, and a 95 vertical, which is really, really good with this build, really solid, um, especially when you use the lock take, which I like to use lock take here as the primary garter, uh, excuse me, the, the, the primary ball guard like lockdown as well as inside the paint with lock take i've noticed a lot lately with lock take i get better contest in the paint which allows me to get rebounds a lot better um so this is definitely something that i would i would definitely recommend is getting lock take wingspan we're gonna go ahead and max out guys because at, at at 87 we get 90 or excuse me 81 driving dunk which allows us to have contact dunks at 99 so we definitely want to take advantage of the max wingspan you can still shoot relatively good with the mid-range at a 70 and a 74 99 and of course the 76 three-pointer so all in all not bad if you look right off rip we actually get a ball handle at 80 so we're going to be able to do pro dribble moves right off rip which is really really cool in my eyes so this is definitely a really cool build and of course guys like i said the one that you want to be going with is lockdown if you want to choose glass cleaner you can um or slasher but for me I, this pie chart is red and yellow, so I'm definitely going to be going with the lockdown. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, you have made none other than a very rare build, the two-way playmaker. And last year, whenever I was making this build, this gave me shades of <laughs> Draymond Green. So this is definitely a Draymond Green build. He's not the best at three-pointers, but he can knock them down. And he's great with the ball in his hands, and he's a really, really great defender. And... Coincidentally, Draymond Green is 6'6". The only downside is he plays a power forward and not the small forward. And we can't get 6'6 on the pie chart for power forward. So maybe in 2K22, they'll be a little bit more lenient and let us do 6'6 power, uh, power forwards because there are 6'6 power forwards in the actual NBA. So let's put that into account because there also is like 7'6 centers like Taco Fall. So this is definitely, definitely a really, really solid build. It's not the best build as we know, but it is a really solid build. So let's go ahead and dive into the badges and I'd show you guys how I would use these badges um, at the center position. All right, guys. So here are the badges right here, guys. As you can see for finishing, I have Showtime on bronze and Consistent Finisher on bronze. I've been noticing I get a lot of late, slightly late, slightly early uh, layups with Consistent Finisher on bronze. Without it, I completely miss them 
with just having it on bronze, I literally make about 80% of my layups. So if you see me in the park and you're playing me and you're like, how's this guy making layups? I promise you guys, it's consistent finisher as a really, really slept on badge. So just having on bronze, you will definitely see a significant improvement in your layup uh, finishing. Uh, and then of course, contact finisher on gold, max it out. For shooting, this is really just a catch and shoot kind of build. So we got catch and shoot on bronze. We got hot zone hunter and range extender maxed out because we only get seven shooting. And then we're all about playmaking, just like Draymond Green. I have the playmaking ability. I have Dimer, Floor General, Handle for Days, and Quick First Step on this build. Because as you guys know, if you ever see me stream, which come check me out on streaming. I do stream uh, on YouTube, um, but I'm away right now on military order. So this is definitely something that's really, really cool. I like to dish it out as soon as I get the rebound. So having Floor General and Dimer definitely helps your teammates. And then, of course, defensively, we're a little bit all over the place because we don't have 30, like an actual, you know, like paint bees, glass cl cleaning finish build the pure red so we have to kind of push it out around move around a little bit rebound chaser rim protector and, in and intimidator all on hall of fame bronze box out bronze clamps worm off ball pest is really good as well brick wall on silver and interceptor on silver what i like about off ball pest and people are like why do you have off ball pest it's really great to bump and harass the defender especially at the center position from not catching lob just having it on bronze, I really see that I bump the center and they actually don't catch alley oops as much. And then if you go ahead and look at it, it actually says making players more difficult to get past when playing off ball as they can grab and hold their matchup and don't get their ankles broken as often. So when you have these guys that have ankle breaker and, and you know space crater and they try to do all the ankle breaker moves, this badge right here actually reduces the amount of times that you'll actually get it. Now on bronze, it'll happen every so often that they'll break your ankles, but just having a bronze actually prevents that. The more you have it maxed out, it is very, very hard for you to be uh, to break your ankles. I have a two-way shot creator on Xbox that I'll probably be throwing some gameplay and when I get back in about, you know, roughly around like at the end of June, I'll have Hall of Fame off-ball pass and really just guard the guard and see how well it is that I don't get my ankles broke. Just to give you guys some gameplay on this badge. But this badge is really, really underrated. A lot of people don't use it, but I do. So that is the badge spread that I would use as this position as the Draymond Green kind of build. The two-way playmaker, it is a very rare build. It's a solid build. It's not the best, but it's a very solid build that you can get by with if you have the IQ and the actual good stick ability to play defense. So let me know in the comment section if you guys like this build, if you think it's a W. We're getting into late June. We're getting ready for E3 with 2K22 news about to be released. So definitely, definitely can't wait for that. I can't wait for, for the WNBA players to play in the park eventually or have their own park server. So that's it for me, guys. As always, guys, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. This is your boy, Dilly Dilly, and I'm out.